So here's my new temple board, pedal board surface for a, to actually could replace this kind of mess on a, an acrylic sheet. So came from Sweetwater. So hey, let's take a look. So it's pretty, you know, it's just the basic idea is the same as the one I have over here that I already did a video about. But let's check it out. So it has the same side panels that can be removed to allow cables in and out. Same cool logo. Handles for carrying. Let's take it out of the cellophane. We're going to try to do the shake method here so I keep holding the phone. So here it is, unveiled. Pretty basic unveiling here. Different size holes for different purposes. Feet. So here I'm spacing out the pedals prior to connecting anything. I do have an additional Donner multi-effect processor that's not that great, did a review of it, but it has a few cool features, and one of my students has it right now, it's a micro pedal, so we're going to leave room on the top row for that. I'm going into the two distortion box, I've got a fuzz box and then kind of more of a distortion box. Those are going first in single chain, um, next it's going to go up here to the E-Lady and the Donner when it arrives, last to the flashback, and then I'm actually going to this um, bass EQ last because I'm primarily using it as a volume. Boost might not put it last otherwise, but uh, that's its primary function in this rig. And I'm actually putting the tuner last this time because the input on this Korg tuner, even though I like the tuner a lot, pulls free and it used to be the first thing in the, in the chain and then students would be pulling it out by accident. So I think having it in a position where I can anchor the input better is going to make a lot more sense for this particular pedal. So that's the layout. So now I have the position of the pedals all roughed in. I always admire online when people have got super neat connections between all their pedals with like matching cables. I have so many cables around here at the school that I just recycle. So it's kind of a mismatch of cables, but um, say la vie. I ran them all underneath as much as possible. But the pedal location is kind of partially based on the length of the cables. So it's not neat orderly rows, but I'm not really worried about that. Um, I've got a space for the Donner pedal when it arrives back from my student. I'm doing this with uh, two one spots. One is uh, connecting to a daisy chain uh, thing with six nine volt supplies. And then I've got a separate one spot just to power this guy because I ran out of connections. And those are going through a hole in the side here. So this is gonna be where one one spot connects and the other one spot uh, is already in there. And those are the only two things I need to come out the side. Um, because the other two cords have to be removed for transit from the band room to show. So the output cable here and the input cable on the other side are not gonna be permanently a part of this. They're just gonna be added at concerts um, or during rehearsals. And I've also got this kind of secured here up against this metal rim because this is the one that tended to fall out. So hopefully this is gonna help it not fall out anymore. Um, and then uh, now I've gotta to get to like using some zip ties to lock all these down. So minus the donger pedal, here's how things are looking now. I've got a zip tie across each pedal. This one I did two to try to stabilize where the input plug goes in. I haven't tied it up the back side yet, but let's check out that they all work. So I'm not getting any sound out of my amp here, so hold on a sec. So I found that one of my um, George L cables didn't work, so I replaced it with this patch cable I had. Now I got sound, so like in order I've got my fuzz box. It's too loud. Then I've got this um, germanium gold philosopher's tone fuzz box. Then after that we go up to the E lady. And we got um, the flashback, which I've never tried before. I just got it, so um, yeah, what's it do? It says delay, but I'm not getting any delay off of it. Strange. Okay, well, we'll have to research that box because that's brand new. Um, or, well, it was used, that's the problem. Um, and then this is just the volume. And then my tuner, which 
is obviously getting signals, so that's minus the donner, that's the pedal board. So I didn't have to do much to contain the cables in the back, they were almost short enough as was, I just want to keep them from getting caught on things when we take this to shows. This one's still hanging free because it's going to go to the, the donner pedal, and I don't know how much reach it needs, but everything else has been kind of controlled with two little fuzzy ties here. So that's the conclusion of building this base rig pedal board. Thanks for watching our channel. If you like this kind of thing, please subscribe and follow our videos in the future. Thanks.